At least they left the door open for me this time. We said we had a problem on the second floor. Nobody wants to tell me anything now. So we're satisfied here. All right, 52 degrees supplier there, one stage of cooling. Just trying to just locate where my problem might be. That might be it. 76 supplier looks like I got a single stage calling right now three zones calling so I need to find 209 maybe I can get a hold of the guy here shortly and see if there's any other problems everything else is satisfied that one's set on 76 I don't know why but let's get up to the roof and start with 209 <laughs> I think these are split up. I think most of the front is first floor. That's 207. She's running. Coils don't look bad. These guys actually do some maintenance out here, so let's see. Let's try to find 209. This one's running, that's probably not it. I guess I could have lost a supplier. Six. Supplier, since they're not reading right. But then it probably wouldn't have been hot in there. This guy's awful quiet. Nope. 110. That area. Does a front row of offices. Maybe it's one of these. At least they're labeled good. 107. Yeah. 105. All the ones are going to be first floor. Ah. 209. All right. We got nothing running. No blower, no nothing. So let's pop our panels and see what we got inside. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Low voltage isn't tripped. Let's see if I got power. I can't tell. The sun's too bright. I can't tell if it's an LED on or not. It doesn't look like it's flashing. Let's see. Here's my three phase in. I ain't got no power. Well, that's why she ain't working. That'll do it. Got fuses. Nothing looks too burnt up. Let's see if we got power coming in. Yeah, we've tripped a breaker. See if we've got any fuses. Any fuses left? All right. All right. So the fuses seem okay. Now. The unit was labeled. What are the odds the breaker's labeled? Probably not real good. Let's go try to find the breaker and get our power restored. We'll leave the disconnect off right now. We'll verify three phase before we turn it back on. And then try to uh, determine what the hell happened. Check the ground. I'm not getting any readings to ground. So I don't know. I'll have to hold out the blower and hold out the compressor. Those will be the those will be the things that would have caused 
the breaker to trip. Oh, nice plastic fan, fan blades. Nothing too unusual down there on the compressor. We're gonna pop that panel off and look. It's got a TXV. Interesting, these are newer units, so I haven't really dealt with too many of them, but let's go find a breaker first and we'll go from there. So I didn't find my breaker yet. I don't have access to much, so I'm not gonna go searching because I still haven't talked to the guy. I got a dusty blower, but it's spinning. It's one of the ECMs. Yeah, nothing could go wrong here. Here's your low voltage short. There's some more low voltage shorts. Yeah, we need to get some of these secured a little better. There's an unloader on the back of there. And there's your cap tube rubbin. What, carrier? Carrier's got a cap tube that's rubbin? No, it can't be. It can't be. That took two seconds. And that's not gonna rub. Imagine that. Luckily, I don't see any major problems. I'll have to get some wire ties on this stuff so nothing, nothing stupid happens. And then uh, go from there. There's your little sticky thing that fell down. You got wires going to rub right there. Here's a little piece of rubber back here to keep them from rubbing. But once that unsticks and they get right there, kind of screwed. Well... Now I gotta go find the breaker. All this looks normal. I didn't get any readings of ground, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna have any problems over here. Everything looks halfway normal. We've lost a crankcase heater. You can see it right there. I'll go ahead and note that. Um, I guess, hell, a crankcase heater could have caused a damn breaker to trip. You'd think a fuse would be blown, but I don't know. So. Let's go locate our breaker, get some wire ties on some stuff here, and see what we got. So we got a few things secured. We got those off the lines. Everything there. I don't like that, but I'm not going too far with that. I don't like that either, but we'll probably get them up there with two wire ties. There's your crankcase heater. She gone. I went ahead and pulled the wires on the other side. I'm waiting on the guy to get here to take me back where the breakers are. So I got these disconnected. Um, I still haven't got a hold of anybody. The lady up front's apologizing. I said, hell, I get paid by the hour. If they want to pay me to sit around and wait to find their problem, I will. I have a feeling there's not gonna be a whole lot wrong with this guy. I have found previously these units got replaced a couple years ago and the roofers did some of this stuff you can see where they've siliconed so I don't know if the roofers disconnected something but I found a loose connection in here one time because this is my main power and that was on one of the other units it was on one of these guys back here I vaguely remember that it was like so it was recently after the roofers had been out and they installed the units but anyways i'm just waiting i got a sea of units so i'm not sure if they've got any more problems i still haven't talked to the guy who called it in so i'm just kind of waiting for the guy that's coming to give me access to the back area they got a back warehouse area that i think is where all the breakers are so I'm gonna have to get in there and find the breaker and then we'll go from there. I think this guy's probably gonna be all right. Compressor owned out okay. I'm not getting any dead shorts to ground, so maybe it was just that crankcase heater. All right, so I found the breaker. The guy finally showed up. 480. It was a 30 amp breaker. Uh, come on. 
480. 480. So I got three phase coming in now. Oof. I didn't see that initially. It's bad. I pull that wire out of there. Let's get that corrected before we turn it on. Let's just redo all of them. I shouldn't have anything down there right now. All my knives are out, so I'll just verify to be safe. Um, let's get those wires fixed. And then we'll, so we'll kick it back on. The compressor ohmed out okay. I didn't do anything with the blower motor, but it spins. I can't imagine. It would have tripped the breaker. I would expect a fuse to be blown. It's weird you tripped a 30 amp breaker and didn't blow a 25 amp fuse. So I'm going to suspect a power surge or something weird happened. Uh, maybe a single phase condition for some reason. I was in the middle of checking, getting ready to check that when uh, he called me when he showed up. So I'm going to look in there too and then we'll see what happens. All right. So I'm going to kick it on now and check it out. I was able to get that one tight. This wire pulled out too and I the the lugs so corroded I couldn't hardly do anything with it I got it in there but it's still not tight so they need a new disconnect I've got Y1 and G pulled so we shouldn't have anything there we're gonna verify our three phase here 480 480 480 479 and 483 we're getting kind of that one leg's just a little bit lower it's in the best not the best power out here in another industrial park I feel like I say that a lot let's uh kick our G on The motor. We'll do that without breaking our plastic pieces. So we got a motor and a Y1 call. Like I said, that uh, crankcase heater could have been it. I don't know, it's a little weird. But I'm not gonna have an answer for the breaker tripping and not blowing a fuse, except for maybe disconnect had an issue as well. Obviously it has some kind of issue. I got my panel on the other side open. I mean, it's six amps. That's the whole unit. I wouldn't expect too many more problems out of this thing since it's gonna run. We'll get a temp drop on it. Let's go ahead and do that. Looks like they got that partially open. This all feels good. We got heat coming out. Cold suction line. We got our rub outs stopped. I don't see any reason to put gauges on this guy unless something's weird with the temp drop. Go ahead and get a reading on that return. And we'll close this guy for now, maybe. So, see what kind of return we got. Well, uh, this might have been down for a while. That drain's dry. So, we'll make sure the drain is clear and drains, and we're just gonna watch it for a little bit. I think everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, you can't know, okay, see, we're doing about 80 coming in. Come on. Let's see if 
we can get in here and get a supply temp. So 80 coming in, should be about 60 coming out. I'm still running six amps, this guy's gonna be okay. We'll go ahead and write everything up. Uh, they need a new crankcase heater and a new disconnect. So we just evened out, just above 60, right at 60. We're gonna watch it a little bit, but that's 20 degrees. Um, all my zones were calling. I got that third zone I found, the one that wasn't actually calling. Actually turned it down. It was in an unoccupied office. The wires in here looked okay. There was nothing burnt up or anything. We had three phase here, so that's the biggest thing. So we're gonna write it all up. Easy call, I guess. I uh, wish I had an absolute answer on what happened, but sometimes you don't. We're gonna watch it for a little bit, make sure nothing else crazy happens, and then we're gonna get the hell out of here. On to the next one. Leave a trade button you found it, guys. See y'all next time.